What up everybody, it's your boy Nautical back at it with another video. So I wanna go over the PSN price hike that's going on over in Europe and Australia this year. This is gonna be crazy. So starting on August 31st, anybody that has any type of membership that needs to be renewed, you are gonna inherit this new price hike. And like I said, this is only affecting Europe and Australia at the moment. No word on US actually inheriting this later on down the line. But for the 12 month membership, you guys are going up across the board 10 bucks. That's what it's gonna be. And then if you go down to the three month, you're gonna go up anywhere from five to six bucks. And when you go month to month, you're gonna be paying a dollar across the board, no matter what territory you're in. So what do I think about this? I believe this is the most stupidest thing ever, but guess what? Sony knows they can do it because people have to be able to play online. You can't play multiplayer games. You can't get your free PlayStation Plus games. You can't even play the games that you already have through PlayStation Plus because you have to have a valid PlayStation Plus membership to play and that is the one part of this that sucks the most now a lot of people can blame Microsoft for this because Sony basically took cues from Microsoft because Microsoft has been running a successful online service for like the last 14 15 years ever since 2002 basically and the prices on that I don't think have changed they actually have come down a little bit because I remember when Xbox Live first came out it was $74.99 and that was with the headset and a chat communicator in it and then that gave you the Xbox Live membership for a year. I could be wrong, it could have been 79 or maybe 89, but I believe it was 74.99. But I don't think the price on Xbox Live has changed since it's been out. It's, it's always been $60. I don't know if they always offered the three month ones. I think those are ones they added in later, but I'm not 100% sure. I know somebody in the comment section will let me know, but let's get back on Sony. Sony was emboldened to do this. They did it back in 2003 or 2000. They did it back in 2013 when they got on stage and said, this is how you share a game, trying to take digs at Microsoft. And while everybody was screaming for jubilation because Sony finally stuck it to the man when it came to uh, Microsoft, they snuck in, but you got to play for PlayStation Plus going forward on PlayStation 4. It will still be free on PlayStation 3, but when it comes to PlayStation 4, you got to pay for it now. A lot of people missed that and it really didn't get reported a lot. Some people did report it, but it wasn't like something that really caught a lot of traction. And now you're starting to see the residual of that because they have a successful business plan when it comes to online services and people want to play online. Sony has the marketing rights to Call of Duty. They had the marketing rights to Destiny. They had the marketing rights to a whole lot of other games. Star Wars Battlefront. Those are all multiplayer centric games. Destiny, it has a single player component, but most of the game you have to play with other people and you need Xbox Live or PSN to do that. So they know they can get away with this and they're gonna push as far as they can to see if this is actually gonna stick and if people are gonna rebel against it. And even if they do, I don't see this changing. This is something that's probably a long time coming unless they're adding more features to the PlayStation Network that we're not seeing right now or that they're not talking about. I mean, this is gonna be a net negative for them because unless they they can actually show some benefits and the reason that they're pushing the price to a higher tier is not going to make Microsoft change theirs because they feel like they're in a good spot when it comes to their Xbox Live services with all the stuff that they added to it and enhanced over the last couple of years since the Xbox One X has been out. Now, I hope there's a plan behind this because if there isn't, this is just a bad marketing move. You do not do something like this to people to get more money out of them because they'll leave your platform because they'll feel like they can get the same service. I mean, not even the same service. Honestly, I feel like they'll get a better service on Xbox Live, but a lot of people are just loyal to Sony. And this is one move that can help people leave Sony if they feel like they're not getting the value and spending 10 to $12 more for online service that they already feel like they shouldn't be paying for. I'm one of those people. I pay for it just because it's a necessity to play online and you kind of need one for Xbox Live and on PlayStation. But if you are one of those people that think this is just the stupidest thing in the world, you should go straight to PC. Unfortunately, I know the PlayStation platform doesn't have that type of ecosystem built on a PC platform yet. So you're kind of stuck paying for it just because they don't release their games nowhere else. But the only way something like this is going to change and they're not going to keep hiking the price up on people is if you vote with your wallet. And that's going to be the hardest thing to do, because if you do that, you're not going to be able to take advantage of all the perks on the system. But if enough people do it, Sony will reverse this. But I don't think it's going to happen because people are going to pay for it because Sony knows they're going to pay for it. And honestly, if 
Xbox did the same thing, it would be no different. People on Xbox Live might bitch about it and they might complain about it, but overall, they're gonna pay the money because they love the system, they love the games. As much as we don't wanna say it out loud, these companies aren't in it for you, they're in it for them and for what they can get out of it as a company and every company is about making money. We like to prop these companies up and make them seem like they're better than they actually are when we all should know that they're not really in it for you, they're in it for what they can get from you and once everybody understands that stuff like this won't make you upset and stuff like this won't make you mad because they are providing you a service that you feel is beneficial to you and the moment is not beneficial to you because of any reason pay structure that is set up or any type of grievances you have about it you have the power as a consumer to stop doing it but unfortunately the fact that everybody needs their PSN and everybody needs their Xbox Live it's going to be really hard to separate the two guys what do you think do you think that sony is making the right move by making trying to make more money off their services also what do you think they should add to the service if this is something that they're actually doing to enhance their service overall let's talk about that in the comment section and plus would microsoft do this and if they did would you be 100 percent upset with it or would you be actually willing to pay it because you feel like you already have added benefits and bonuses on being on xbox live and what would you like to see extra brunk to the service if they did raise the price let's talk about that in the comment section too make sure you like this video if you like the content sub to the channel if you haven't turn on email notifications gonna let you know the next time my video goes live it's your boy nautical i appreciate you watching this video and you guys have a great day and i will see you in the next video peace